It is the 20th of the 7th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. I just wanted to let Gary know that uh, I got my rag rag. Love it. Absolutely love it. I'll attach a link to his channel below. Let's get started. Uh, Earth changes. Scott.net. Canary Island wildfires continue to rage. Spanish authorities evacuated a town of 1800 on the Canary Island on Tuesday after three days of firefighting efforts failed to prevent a raging wildfire from reaching it. Nuclear insanity. Japan refires second reactor at station sitting on tectonic fault line. Uh, and of course the protests are going on and on. This is KEPCO, K-E-P-C-O, not TEPCO, T-E-P-C-O. Uh, it's the OI nuclear power plant. And again, there's a fault line, an active fault line. Uh, but uh, KEPCO can't seem to find uh, the information, the seismic information on that area. Sinkhole opens up on I-70 near Idaho Springs, Colorado. And uh, drought widens unlikely to yield through October. Um, they have a, a seasonal drought outlook map going up and you can kind of see for yourself just how extreme uh, the drought is in the United States right now. Central Australia's for, uh, frostiest winter in a decade. Months of Central Australia is experiencing an unusually frosty winter. The frostiest in more than a decade in some parts, and there's much more to come. Of course, uh, Australia has not been exempt from the crazy weather patterns going on around the world. Two rare white sparrows appear in Moray Garden. This is in uh, Great Britain. A woman who photographed a rare white fledgling sparrow in her garden last week was left stunned when the second white bird turned up. Now, scientists did studies of the bird and wildlife outside of Chernobyl after the Chernobyl accident more than 25 years ago. And uh, the cases of albinoism uh, runs rapid in radioactive areas. So uh, this very rare, uncommon thing might become more common as the years go by. BP oil spill partially, question mark, to blame for high dolphin deaths in Gulf of Mexico. Of course, they're not going to fess up, but after you dump millions and millions and millions and millions of gallons, barrels of Corexit into the Gulf of Mexico to cover up the hundreds of millions of barrels of oil that leaked out into the Gulf of Mexico, and a nice big sludge sits on the bottom. Uh, enjoy your seafood. I wouldn't eat any seafood right now. Iceland not cold enough. 14 killer whales seen off of northern Scotland. More than a dozen killer whales made a rare appearance off, off the most northerly point in mainland Britain on Monday morning. Visitors to the John O'Groats coast were spellbound as 14 killer whales splashed, splashed and played in the harbor. Uh, they're saying they're following the seals and, it, and it's probably a combination or two or three pods they got together to uh, throw a little party. Over to the watchers, uh, volcano alert raised for Mount Tongariro volcano in New Zealand. Uh, Geonet raised the volcano alert um, after a series of quakes beneath the volcanic complex. The alert is now on aviation color code yellow and volcanic alert code 1. Uh, small volcanic earthquakes have been recorded beneath the mountain, and the sequence started on July 13th, but, but soon declined, restarting on July 18th and increasing in numbers on July 19th and 20th. So the volcano's gearing up, and they're getting ready for it to uh, erupt. Strong swarm of earthquakes continue in the Kuril Islands. Uh, I believe they just had another 6.0. And, of course... Sahara dust cloud heading towards South Florida, United States. While thunderstorms pound South Florida, a very concentrated area of Saharian dust is coming all the way from Africa. Uh, the northern Korea, Caribbean islands have already been dealing with the Sahara dust with hazy skies. Uh, the dust should arrive sometime today and last until next Monday. 
and the dust has been carried over 10,000 kilometers. Um, it's following the same systems uh, the hurricanes do off the coast of Africa. Over to the nuclear stuff, uh, let's start an any news. Expert on BBC, like setting off a nuclear bomb in Eastern Europe, question mark. Fire fears for dire, dying radioactive tree plantations around Chernobyl. And again, over 25 years later, we are still dealing with Chernobyl. Um, of course, if, if the forests catch on fire and the ash gets up in the air and all that radioactivity gets redistributed. And again, it accumulates. It all accumulates. Unusual move. Japan's ex-Prime Minister joins biggest ever crowds at weekly Tokyo protest. Fresh sign ruling party is fracturing. Uh, I still wouldn't trust the politician. Fukushima meltdown seen by many in Japan as nation's great debacle. Worse than atomic bombings. That is an understatement. Tokyo area officials blast government decontamination, quote, an empty promise, little progress made in cleaning up radioactive soil. You got to remember they just found in the suburbs of Tokyo, um, like some mushrooms growing in a school that has already been de decontaminated, and uh, the kids are still going to school in the area, pass by this spot all the time, and uh, they're not looking to uh, clean it up anytime soon. French physicist Fukushima spent fuel pools miraculously survived. Unit number four, a constant source of worry. Now we're worried about the plugs in the bottom of this pool and how the salt water might be corroding uh, the metal in these plugs. And if they go, uh, there will probably be no way uh, they will be able to keep the water uh, continuing in uh, spent fuel pool number four. I've seen reports in the past where um, it is literally cracked and they are pumping water from the basement back up into the top of the pool um, just to keep the water levels normal. Removed fuel assemblies 100 times more radioactive than normal. TEPCO worker thinks it's from before 311. And again, they, they pulled a couple of these fuel rod assemblies, the ones that, that haven't been used yet, so it's okay for them. Um, they're not going to react in the in the air like uh, the spent fuel rods do, and uh, they're testing to see what the salt water is doing to them, and uh, what they're going to have to deal with in the future because they had to deal with that quick fix of dumping salt water onto these reactors. Head of TEPCO quote shocked people are concerned about number four fuel pool. He's baffled by criticism of company's role in Fukushima disaster. Are these guys? that delusional. He's believing his own bullshit. New York Times radioactive cloud would be trapped over Los Angeles and San Diego in case of Fukushima style meltdown at California nuke plants. <sighs> Nuclear energy is a crime against humanity and uh, they need to shut them all down and arrest these criminals. TEPCO completes covering seafloor with layers of cement mix. More coating used at reactors number 5 and 6 than for reactors number 1, 2, 3, and 4 combined. Uh, they're filling that, that whole seafloor in front of these reactors, uh, talking about burying it over. Um, and it's just a little curious that they're uh, using more concrete in number 5 and 6 than they are in 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we already know 1, 2, and 3 already melted through. So what's really going on in, in Fukushima Diachi? I think the problem's a lot worse than they will ever, ever tell us. Lead scientists surprised by data. Fukushima plant still leaking radiation into the ocean? Are you kidding me? Where are these... Insanity. Insanity. And, uh, of course, it goes on and on. And I even saw a report, they've got it probably down on the next page, where they opened up a beach in Fukushima Prefecture, just 40 kilometers south of the, the Fukushima Diachi nuclear power plant. They got pictures of kids playing in the water. Uh, volleyball and hulas. Oh my god. The insanity. The insanity. How could you take your kids down there? And uh, over to uh, Fukushima Diary. Uh, 
I'm going to go do their daily news. Uh, they've got a bunch of stories on the ongoing protests going on all over Japan, because it's Friday over there, of course. And uh, rain or shine, uh, they are protesting. And uh, the crowds grow and grow in numbers. So they've got a bunch, bunch of stories. Like, uh, Anonibus is driving around the official residence to help protesters move around. The organizer and sponsors are not known. So they've got buses helping the protesters get around. Uh, the police are using their tactics, of course. Uh, they've even got a story where a group of lawyers are going to set out to make sure uh, that there's no unfound foolishness uh, by the, um, the authorities uh, when dealing with peaceful protesters. Over to uh, EXSKF. Again, it's a protest um, story. It's Friday, and the protest is on, rain or shine. And they've got the, the list of what's going on and where. But um, basically, they, they ask, please refrain from making a speech that will advertise a particular organization uh, or has nothing to do with anti-nuclear, beyond nuclear subjects. And uh, they're saying they're giving everybody a minute to speak out if they want to speak out. But uh, as was posted for one such speech that didn't fit in with the organizer's intention was a speech about radiation exposure for the young policemen who were sent to high radiation areas in Fukushima Prefecture with little or no protection. And uh, so even the protesters don't want to warn the police that they themselves are in danger from this nuclear fallout. Insane. And, uh, of course, they've got a few more stories going on. That's about all I'm going to cover with you tonight. Uh, I'm sorry my videos have been few and far in between lately. Uh, I've got a lot of personal things going on. Um, family, friends, pulling favors. I've become busy. And I will definitely try to get to these as I can. Uh, I'm going to put out another video today. Um, i got the fire smoke, smoked up, and I'll just kind of do a little vlog there. So, enjoy while you can, everybody. And, uh, oh, yeah. Um, Nuked Radio, Rad Chick, I'm going to attach a link to her radio broadcast. I understand it's like 50 minutes long, and it's a long time, but there's a lot of information. This girl is on the ball. Uh, I love and respect you. Thanks, Christine and Jules, and uh, Miss Milky the Clown, and Mary Greeley, and, uh, whew, you know, Kevin Blanche. There's a bunch of us out there trying to do this. Uh, if you are making videos uh, on the Fukushima incident or um, as far as climate change or that kind of thing, please attach them to mine uh, so I can kind of know you're out there. Uh, it's hard for me to look around sometimes, and if you're out there putting out videos, I'd like to know. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy the weekend.